welcome here to more Talk FCB and welcome to the Champions League draw reaction. And believe me, this round of 16 draw, it's been packed full here of some really, really good encounters with a few reunions along the way. In today's video, we are going to be discussing all of the matchups and it starts right here. Let's get to it. Now, of course, coming into this draw, there are 16 teams remaining in the tournament and the top seeds and the seeded teams in the draw were those, of course, who finished top of their group. And all of those teams will play the second leg of their round of 16 clash at home as a result as well. And of course, these round of 16 ties are going to be coming up in 2021 in February and March with the first legs there taking place on the 15th and the 16th of February and also the 20th. 23rd and the 24th, with the return legs coming in March on the 9th and 10th and the 16th and the 17th. So, who's facing who? Well, the first clash out of the hat was Borussia Mönchengladbach, who came second in their group, of course, to Real Madrid. They will be facing group winners Manchester City in the round of 16 and of course in every single Champions League campaign you just know that Man City are going to be among the favourites but it's kind of games like this which have let them down in recent years they don't want to take Munch and Gladbach lightly they played some really good football in the group stage and it's interesting this season with Man City they are struggling a little bit more in front of goal which is rare for a Pep Guardiola side but of course by the time this game comes around they'll be hoping they're in full flight and Man City, of course, they will be big favourites against Mönchengladbach. Up next, it was the favourites, not one of the favourites for this competition. Make no mistake, Bayern Munich, they may be the reigning champions, but they are still big, big favourites to do back-to-back -back Champions League titles. And they're going to be coming up against Lazio, the Serie A side there, who came second in their group to Borussia Dortmund. And I think that's a game there that, of course, Bayern will go into that as big, big favourites. But again, you don't want to underestimate anyone. You don't want to make any slip-ups. But of course, this is going to be over two leg so even if you do make a mistake in that first leg you do have the second leg there to get you out of trouble and Bayern will certainly believe they're going to be on to the quarterfinals even though Lazio have got some good players you think of Mobile, you think of Luis Alberto you think of Milinkovic Savic in their team but Bayern they are so strong so so good and you'd expect them to get through. Up next is one of the big, big clashes from the round of 16. It pits Atletico Madrid there, Diego Simeone's side, against Frank Lampard's Chelsea. And these two certainly do have some real history in this competition over the years. They have played each other quite a few times over the past few seasons. And this, for me, on paper, it's a really, really good clash of two very different styles. I think Lampard this season at Chelsea has had a really, really good start. He did well last season in his first season. He's made some big signs that could Timo Werner, you think of Kai Havertz, obviously Thiago Silva there coming into their defence, and of course Atletico Madrid. They did indeed lose to Real Madrid on the weekend, but that was their first league loss of the season, and they have played some really, really good football, with Xiao Felix in particular really impressing this season. So I'm interested to see how this game is going to go. One big, big team is going to be eliminated, but will it be Atletico or Will it be Chelsea? Up next is another of the favourites for the Champions League. It is Liverpool coming up against Julian Nagelsmann's RB Leipzig. Of course, they were semi-finalists last season, Leipzig, losing in the end to Paris Saint-Germain, but a really good campaign for them. They took it right down to the wire to actually qualify here for the round of 16, beating Man United on the final match day. And I think Liverpool coming into this, of course, they've got big, big injury problems right now. Virgil van Dijk, even so, is still not going to be back for February, March of next year. I think certainly in the league they've had a few slip ups but they're still there or thereabouts at the top of the league and they are going to be favourites coming into this game but at the same time Leipzig on their day they could be absolutely brilliant. Nagelsmann is a coach that I really really like and they've got some very very good players too and this should be another one of those really good clashes between two good teams, two attacking teams as well. Should be fun to watch and I would expect goals. Up next in the draw, it was FC Porto coming up against Juventus. Cristiano Ronaldo will be back in Portugal again as Juve, of course, group winners in Group G. They'll be facing up against Porto, who finished runners-up to Man City, although they did run them very, very close there in that group. Porto were very competitive. They should not be underrated when you're looking here at this round of 16 draw. And Juve, I think they're growing. I think they started the season under Pilo quite poorly. I think they had some really difficult 
difficult results and they're struggling really to get things going. But I think as the season has gone on, as they've started maybe to understand what he wants to bring to their team, they do have good players. They are going to get good results. And of course, they will be favourites in this one. But Porto, they are dark horses. Given what they've done, in the Champions League so far. Up next, though, was, in my not-so-biased opinion, the biggest clash from the round of 16, because it pits Barcelona against Paris Saint-Germain. What a clash that is. A massive, massive game. And, of course, a reunion for Neymar Jr. Even though yesterday, of course, against Lyon, he was stretched off with a suspected ankle injury. He's going to be in a race against time there to get back for this game. But certainly, so many high-profile players, so much history, between these two clubs in this competition that promises to be an absolutely mouth-watering game and of course Barca are going to need to improve they've had a really really poor start of the season we're all aware of that we know we're not where we want to be PSG too have not been altogether convincing they too have had a few upsets in the league and in the Champions League losing to Man United in their group but this game when it comes around it promises to be Fantastic. The penultimate clash in this group, though, was Sevilla against Borussia Dortmund. And this is certainly an interesting clash there and a good opportunity for either one of these teams to make it through to the quarterfinals. Borussia Dortmund are going through a little bit of a turbulent time right now. They sacked Lucien Favre after losing 5-1 in the Bundesliga at the weekend. Sevilla are slowly starting to put together some results. They had a really good season last season, of course, winning the Europa League again under Lopetegui. They haven't started this season in brutal form but they are getting there and they do find themselves here in a winnable game against Dortmund but of course with the likes of Holland, there's some really really top quality talent and young players as well in that Dortmund team who can certainly impress they will be favourites but don't rule Sevilla out. And the final encounter of the round of 16 stage pits Real Madrid up against Atalanta. Real, of course, in the end got through and in the end got through as group winners in their group with Atalanta progressing behind Liverpool in their group. But I think this one certainly is going to be a really, really interesting matchup. Atalanta are a team who just want to go for it. And I think against Real Madrid, that will be interesting because certainly this season, you look at Shakhtar, you look at the game as well against Mönchengladbach, the first one there, Real Madrid were put under pressure defensively and they didn't stand up to the challenge. They have looked, though, to be fair, much, much improved in recent weeks. And that was highlighted with their win in the Madrid derby at the weekend. Atalanta will not be favourites in this one. But as we saw in last season's Champions League, they are capable of an upset and they will go for it against Real Madrid. So those there, guys, are the round of 16 clashes to look forward to in February and March of 2021. There is going to be plenty of talk and plenty to look forward to ahead of these clashes. Which ones are you looking out for? Which ones are you most excited for? And if your team is in the draw, what are you expecting from the games to come? Let me know all of those thoughts in the comments down below, and I'll be giving my reaction to Barca against PSG over on the main channel. That's coming soon, because it will be an absolutely brilliant clash. I'll see you then, guys, and I thank you indeed for watching. But until next time, as always, Vishka El Barca.